Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com, and this is a quick review of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It's replacing the Rode VideoMic Pro, and it does more than just add a plus. So I think that this is one of the best microphones if you are looking to get into the vlogging game or need a run and gun microphone, this could be the solution for you. But I wanna tell you that I am using this mic to record this review, so all the audio that you hear is coming from this microphone right up here. So let me run down the features that I absolutely love. The first feature that I love is the fact that it now ships with a rechargeable lithium ion battery that when charged in full will give you up to 100 hours of recording time. Now in the past you had to use a nine volt. It also didn't have a door that was built in that was easy to open and close. This one now has that. And if for some reason you run out of battery power, you can always substitute two AA batteries in the slot because if you forget your batteries, well, you should never forget them, the AA batteries will continue to work. Another great feature of this microphone is the fact that when you turn on the camera, the mic goes on. When you turn off the camera, the mic goes off. So no longer do you accidentally leave it on and when you come back to record audio, your battery is dead. So that is something that I love in this microphone. It also has a two pass high pass filter. So what that does is it helps you cut back on external noise. So if you wanna really just get the person talking, you can raise the high pass filter and it's gonna help cut out any background noises from cars or if you're at a trade show, it will allow you to focus better on just the audio from the speaker that's right in front of the camera. And also, a lot of people always say, why am I getting a lot of noise when I'm changing settings on the camera? Or why is the microphone picking up the autofocus? Well, a lot of the reasons is because those microphones are built into those cameras, so you're gonna hear that extra noise. You're gonna get, any time that you bump the camera, you're gonna hear that happen. But this microphone has what's called a Rycote Lyre suspension, which gets the microphone off the camera, so if there's any shake or jiggling going on, it's gonna not translate into noise going into the microphone. Same thing when you're switching buttons or you're focusing your camera, there's a better chance that this microphone, because of that system and the fact that it gets the mic off of the camera itself for the most part, you're not gonna pick up any of that noise. One of the best features that they built into this microphone is what's called a safety track, meaning that when you turn this feature on, you're gonna record two audio tracks. One's gonna be at the levels that you set it, and the other's gonna be, I believe, 10 decibels below. So if you blow the one out totally because it gets super loud, you're gonna have the other one there, which is gonna be great as a backup so that you still have good audio. And finally, the price, this one's coming in at $299, which is a little more expensive than the older ones, but if you're just starting out, you're looking to do vlogging, you're looking to do run and gun video, this microphone is going to be a great microphone for now and into the future as well because it has so many great features that you can grow with. So that's a quick review of this Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Let me know what you guys think down below, and if you're watching this on the YouTube and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're on Facebook, please give this a share and let Rode know that you wanna bring Frono's Photo and team to Australia, because we wanna go down under and we wanna to go to their facility to do a how it's made Rode microphones. So that's where I'll leave it. Jared Poland, Frono's Photo.com. See ya.